Hello everyone, it's me. <laughs> I wanted to talk about third person information and how to handle gossip or whatever it is, or he said, he said, she said, or I heard about blah, 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 blah. So anyways, I make a lot of videos and I'm not necessarily a very open book. I try to keep my private life pretty private. Uh, you know, my current situation is pretty private. So anyways, I share my experiences and my thoughts to help other people feel normal or get through challenging times or whatever the case may be. So anyways, what happened was is that I think I shared recently with you that my daughter dropped a car off that I had taken a loan out for her. She was the co-signer and it was an and title. And as we all know, with any kind of a loan, I'm me being the primary, no one can simply take themselves off the loan. The person, the co-signer has to actually refinance the car to get it in their name and take over the debt or they have to have someone else buy the car for them and they would take over the debt and release me. I can't simply release myself. So anyways, so I got a call from my mom yesterday. She says, call me back. So I kind of knew something was up and she said, do you have cancer? <laughs> this is the thing. I did have cancer. I have a list of people I would share the information with. I'm I kind of share with people that I know can give me direction that will hold my personal information and confidence and respect my decision regarding who I want to tell. So she calls and says, well, your sister, so-and-so, my older sister, called and said, your daughter, Stephanie, called and asked her if you had cancer because of a previous YouTube video and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then she went on to say that my daughter stated to my sister that I would not take my name off the loan on the car or else she wouldn't have returned it to me. Like she would have just made all the payments if the loan was in her name only. <laughs> That's not how life works. So anyways, I said to my mom, I said, well, I don't know where they're hearing this from, but I've never put anything like that on YouTube and this and that. And I said, if they want to know something, they can call me and ask me. And I said, if my older sister does call, she has to explain a couple of things why she talked to my rapist back in December, the guy who raped me in the military that I had to face in court in January why she talked with him and told him that I was a psychopath or her psycho or I was something along the psych <laughs> arena and why she had conversations with him and also what their conversations were about and also she had to apologize because I can't imagine I just I can't wrap my head around it I still don't have answers regarding that and if she wants to know, she can call me directly. But I said, well, mom, if I had cancer, I would tell you. And she goes, well, then I would tell your sister you had cancer. And, and I said, no, actually you wouldn't because I wouldn't want you to. Well, that's your sister. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> she is. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is that I have the right to tell whomever I want. And there's certain people that I would choose to not tell my personal information to because they haven't they they don't have answers for me i i'm not close to them we're not in a relationship uh, I, who cares <laughs> if you don't like someone and you think they're psycho or as yesterday when i messaged my daughter and i said if you have any questions you can answer me directly and she says, I don't have anything to ask you or something along those lines. And I said, another thing is I can't take my name off the car loan. You can refinance it or have someone else take the loan over. And that's the only way that this and that she's like, okay, Karen. Well, <laughs> Karen's actually a nice name. <laughs> it's always.
always been a real pleasant name. It now is a derogatory term for older white women who are, who never mind their own business or call a cop, whatever the case may be. So why would I want my daughter who doesn't defer to me, but in a derogatory, today's derogatory term, or my sister who talked to my rapist, why would I want them knowing anything about me? It doesn't make sense. So therefore, it's it's hard when you're dealing with someone in your family that is was raised with family, has to know everything. You have to tell the family. The family should be involved. The family should know. And my belief is that, um, no, the family shouldn't know. <laughs> um, I should be allowed to share my story or my personal information with anyone I want. And if I don't want them to know, you shouldn't be telling them either. So anyways, best thing to do if someone calls you up and says, well, let's just say you're not really close with one of your sisters or your brother, or an aunt or an uncle. Well, aunt so-and-so, you know, you get a call. Aunt so-and-so wants to know if you say, well, if aunt so-and-so wants to know, aunt so-and-so can call me herself. And I probably won't answer the question. <laughs> I'm try to figure out why she's asking anyways. So anyhow, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, I really have nothing else to say. All I know is that people that have chaos in their hearts and have drama and are dealing with a lot of personal issues strike out at other people, people who are unresolved and who are angry and who are frustrated and who are living lives that don't have a lot of peace they, all they their intention their only intention is to make sure no one else has peace either so they'll throw a jab in here or there they'll disrupt or they'll use other people to do their work and I have the same phone number <laughs> it's so funny anyways so that's all I wanted to talk about today is that you know, you have to know who you can trust. Not everyone has the right to know your business. And granted, I make videos, but I just thought it was just such an interesting thing. That, And not only that, since my mom and I are now on a good path, it was unfair for someone else to feed her information, which caused her concern about me. That 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 is, that is kind of cruel. <laughs> That's just cruel. Why would you tell your mom your sister had cancer unless you wanted to cause your mom pain? That doesn't even make sense. If it, And then for my mom to take it and run with it. <laughs> I was in the middle of cooking dinner. Come on, you know. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say is that really just, just, I mean, I make videos, but other than that, my personal life is pretty personal and I do my own thing but anyways that's all I want to talk about and I hope everyone's having a good day and I'll be back bye